I'm Joan, and this is my row. Welcome to Joan's Row. But once again, we've taken the show on the road, and we are in Assisi. And as the sun sets over the Umbrian Hills, I'm in front of the Cathedral of San Rufino. And of course, that's St. Rufinus in English. If it's the cathedral, it is obviously the chair of the Bishop of Assisi. Now, San Rufino is a very important person. He was a bishop. And he was a bishop in the third century and brought Christianity to Assisi. He was martyred here, and his tomb is under the main altar in this very beautiful church, which, by the way, is Romanesque in style, the interior, and the magnificent facade and bell tower. Bishop Rufinus actually had many, many links with the Order of St. Francis, and two of those links are kind of important as we look at the baptismal font that's just to your right as you go into the church in a separate little niche-like altar area of its own. St. Francis was baptized here, St. Clair was as well, many of St. Francis' followers, and also Emperor Frederick II. The baptismal font was also visited by Pope Benedict in June of 2007. Another important link to St. Francis is the oratory of St. Francis in this basilica. Francis used to come here very often and pray. And I must add that as you walk towards the various rooms or even up the main aisle of the cathedral, through the plexiglass floors, you will see ruins of ancient Roman buildings and streets. We've seen a number of those here ancient Roman buildings, we have seen aqueducts and so forth in Assisi. Thomas of Celano was a Franciscan friar. He was born in the year 1200, and he was a hagiographer, and that is a person who does the study of saints and writes about saints. And in one of his chronicles of St. Francis, he reports that St. Francis was reported as being seen here in this cathedral in prayer, but at the very same time, he was also seen jumping into a chariot of fire at the Porzioncola another very famous spot associated with St. Francis, which we have already visited. So the next time you're in Rome and you make a side trip to Assisi, be sure to see the beautiful cathedral of St. Rufinus and see the baptismal font where our beloved Francis and Claire were baptized. For more insights into the daily life here in Rome, check out my daily blog, Jones Rome, on EWTN.com.